Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed, and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to debug the store procedure in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will see how can we debug a store procedure. So in the earlier versions of SQL Server Management Studio, there was an option that you can debug your store procedure, but in the recent releases of SQL Server Management Studio, Microsoft has removed the functionality to debug the store procedures. And I'm not sure like why they removed the debugging option from the SQL Server Management Studio. Maybe they want the people to use the Visual Studio. Okay, so that's why they remove it from the Management Studio. So debugging is one of the most important step in any programming language. Like if you are writing some code in C Sharp .NET or Java or Python or any other programming language, then debugging is must. You know, because when you debug your code, only then you know like how the code is working. Okay. So when you debug your code, then you can easily identify the values assigned to the different variables after each line when the line is being executed. Okay, and you can check the data, for example, in the tables, and you can check the data in the views or the data that is being returned from the variables or from the functions or store procedures. Okay, so debugging is very important thing in SQL Server, of course, as well. So without wasting further time, let's jump to the demo. So in my last video on stored procedures, I created this stored procedure. That what it does, it, it drop the stored procedure if the stored procedure exists, and then it creates a stored procedure. Okay. So what we are doing that we are inserting the data into the products table. Okay. So we have a products table here which contains like product ID, which is an identity column. And then we are inserting the product name, price, manufacturer, and the date created. Okay, so there are few rules. So in this particular store procedure, the first thing is that we are checking that if the product does not exist based on the product name and manufacturer, then we are inserting a record into the products table. Then we are checking that if the product already exists according to the product name, manufacturer, and the price, then we are displaying a message that product already exists. In the third condition, we are checking that if the product exists, but if the price is different, then we are updating the price in the products table, and then we are returning the product ID, and then according to the product ID, we are returning the data from the products table. So this is what we are doing actually in the store procedure, okay? And I think right now we have some data in the products table. So right now there are three records here, okay? So we are handling the duplicate data as well. So if you will pass the same Product name, same price, and same manufacturer. Then it won't insert the duplicate data. Okay. Suppose uh, this store procedure is behaving something weird. Okay, and we want to see like where is the issue. Uh, okay, so we can debug the store procedure. So for example, let me execute the store procedure here and uh, you know see like how it will behave. So I'm just calling the store procedure, and I'm passing the product name. So maybe I can pass the product name as so UPS. Okay, and the price maybe I can pass as twenty, and maybe the manufacturer is HP. Okay, and I can provide the uh, today's date two thousand twenty-four zero two fourteen. Okay, so if I execute this particular uh, you know query, so the store procedure runs successfully, and it should have inserted the data, but it is returning some other data like it returned the record for the keyboard Dell. It is returning some other data. Okay, so it is not returning the newly inserted records. So if I do like order by product ID DESC. Okay, so if I show you the data, then the uh, data in the table it actually inserted the data correctly. Okay, on 14th February, but it is returning the data for another product. Okay, it was returning the data for the keyboard this one. Okay. So suppose we want to know, we want to debug, like where the issue is happening. Okay, uh, so we can debug the code. So how we can debug the code? Uh, first of all, we need to open the Visual Studio. So I can type Visual, I Visual Studio 2019, and you can use any version, whatever version of Visual Studio you have. Okay, and now uh, you need to click here, continue without code, because you are not going to create any project here. Okay. So as soon as the Visual Studio has been opened, then what you can do, you can click on the view, and from the view you can open the SQL Server Object Explorer. Okay. 
So this will display this particular window SQL Server Object Explorer. Here it is showing me some servers. So if you want to remove the server that are already there, you want to disconnect, then you can disconnect them. And uh, if the servers are fine, then you can use those servers. Okay. So I'm showing you from the scratch. So that's why I just disconnected the servers. Those were already available. Now to add a server, what you need to do, right click on it and click add SQL server. Okay. And then you need to provide the uh, SQL server instance name. So here you need to provide the SQL server instance name. So I can copy the SQL server instance name from here. I can copy this one and paste it here. Okay. And uh, this is my username. And now I need to select the database. So the stored procedure exists in the school database. So I can select the school database here and I can click connect. Okay. So this will be connected to the uh, SQL server and I can expand the databases. So it will display you all the databases. Okay. So my store procedure, this SP underscore insert product, this exists inside the school database. Okay. So I can go back to the visual studio and I can expand the school database and now I can expand the programmability and then I can expand the store procedures. So here it will display you all the store procedures. So this is our store procedure SP underscore insert product. Okay. So to debug the store procedure, you can right click on it and you can click on debug procedure. Okay. So this will display you the pop up window and here you can pass the values, you know, the input parameters to the store procedure. So for example, uh, let me pass another parameter okay and that will insert another record and we will debug it okay so right now there are four records here so i can pass the new record maybe i can pass the value as mobile okay and the price i can pass maybe 19 and the manufacturer maybe i can pass uh, samsung okay so i can click on okay now so as soon as you will click on okay so the debugging will start. Okay. All right. So you can see, a, uh, you know, yellow color here. So it means that the debugging has been started and it's saying like debugging query. Okay. Now there are two important things in debugging. There are two important keys. The first key is the F11 and the second one is the F10. Okay. So you should use the F11 key to move forward and to go inside the store procedure. So for example, uh, if you from one store procedure, if you are calling another store procedure, okay, and if you want to go inside the second store procedure, then you can just press F11 every time. So it will just go inside the another store procedure as well. But if you just want to, uh, you know, continue the code, like you, you just want to move your cursor to the next line okay so you can press f10 and suppose if you do not want to go inside the second store procedure if you are calling the second store procedure from your first store procedure and if you do not want to go inside the second store procedure then you can just press the f10 okay so we will press f11 so that we can just go inside the another store procedure if there is any second store procedure but in our case there is no second store procedure so both F11 and F10, they will, you know, behave the same way. So there is an option here like F10, either you can press from keyboard or you can click here as well F10. Okay. And now uh, I will press F11. Okay. I, I will press F11 from my keyboard so that it can go inside the store procedure. So I press the F11. Okay. And now it goes inside the store procedure and now it's on the first line. Okay. So here we have just declared the integer in the first line. We have declared the product ID as integer variable. Okay. And right now, you know, it does not contain any value here. And now we are at the first line. So here we are just checking that if the product exists, where product name is the mobile. So this value, this mobile, this is coming from the you know, product name, the product name value that we passed while calling the store procedure and the manufacturer value, you can check here that the manufacturer value is Samsung here. Okay. And if you press F10 now, so it will move to the next condition. 
so because this data does not exist so that's why it moves inside the if condition for example if the data was already there then it will go to the else condition and it will check the next condition here but now because the data does not exist in the table so that's why it moved to the you know next line that now it is trying to insert the data with the product name is mobile okay so right now we don't have any data with the product name is mobile so suppose if you go to the uh, you know ssms and if you check the data in the sql server table so we don't have any record with the name is mobile okay so now i can go back and uh, i can press f10 so as soon as you will press f10 this will insert a record into the uh, sql server table products so right now even though uh, the store procedure is not fully completed but it has inserted the data into the sql server table so if you go back and if you rerun your query again then you will find the data there that a new record got inserted here uh, the product name mobile and the manufacturer is samsung and we had not provided any value to the date created so that's why the date created is null here in this particular case okay so the product id is 5 here okay so if i go back to the visual studio so now uh, it is selecting the product id from the sql server table from the products table where the product name is the mobile and the manufacturer is the uh, samsung and the price is the 19 okay so if i press f10 here again so now if you check the product id so the product id is 5 so the product id 5 is the correct product id and this product id is for the uh, this latest record where the uh, product name is mobile okay however if you continue your you know process so if i uh, you know step over again and if i check the value of product id so now the product id value has been decreased to 4 earlier it was 5 and now it got decreased to 4 because there is a line here that we are just subtracting one from the product id so that's why uh, the product id got decreased from 5 to 4 and it will return you the row for the ups product okay so there is a um, you know there is a flaw in the store procedure we need to fix this particular record we need to delete this particular line because uh, it's actually not returning the correct data you know because of the uh, because of subtracting the minus one from the product id okay so now because the product id value is four so that's why now it will uh, if you press f10 again then it will select the data for the product id four okay which is not correct actually okay so it has just executed this uh, you know this store procedure and if i press f10 now so it will display the data for the usps okay which is not correct of course so because we debug the store procedure so we came to know that there is an issue in the store procedure in the code so we can just uh, you know comment out this particular line or you can we can delete this particular line okay so now um, if you just drop and recreate the store procedure so now this will behave the correct way so if you see uh, right now uh, there are five records here okay uh, suppose if i now insert a new record for the cell phone okay same value okay uh, so let me execute the store procedure so this should insert a new record with the product id 5 okay and the date is 14 february and it should also return you the most recent record from the table okay so let me execute these two queries together okay so the store procedure ran fine and the first result said this is from the store procedure you know the product id 6 and this is the correct value that got inserted into the sql server table so now the store procedure is returning the data correctly okay so this was about like how you can debug the store procedure and you can check the code line by line and you can compare the data in the sql server table as well yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.